Here, this is Oklahoma. Uh, Fairview, Oklahoma. Trent Pierce, Southbound Outfitters. And, and I got to use Trent's trademark remarks. A lot of birds. A lot of birds. It was a lot of birds. A lot of birds, a lot on, of the, birds. <laughs> on the limbs and a lot on the ground. We saw a lot of gobblers. This is uh, nothing like Wisconsin hunting uh, where we hunt the Easterns. This is, this is awesome. It was great. They, they flew a lot further than, than I, I was thinking. I, I, I really I really expected them, because the first morning when we saw them, they just kind of pitched down out of the tree. Yeah. You know, this time they, they came out and just... That was, thought Adam was going to get his nose clipped by that one hand. How close did she come to you? I <laughs> like three yards or something. Yeah. probably could have reached it down where I could the gun barrel. That was pretty cool. It was a good deal. Boy, there was a lot of chattering this morning, though, wasn't there? Yeah, that hand talk. That's that's awesome. You guys listen to that, remember it. That's that's what makes you, you know, where you can learn how to really do some columns. When you listen to the real deal like that, you don't need a video, a tape to watch, or anybody on TV or oh, anything yeah. else. Yeah, we actually expected these birds just to pitch right straight down off the roost. So we picked us a tree that I, we were probably 100 yards from the roost, and I was laying on my back on my side looking at them through binoculars because I wanted to make sure these guys were just having to hide in a big cedar bush. And when them things went to pitching off, they went to filling my binoculars up within seconds. I was like, oh, they're fixing to go right past us. So I set up right quick told Jay, this is his son Adam right here, we was going to try to get Adam a shot, but it all happened so quick, and uh, all the birds but the last gobbler landed out of range and took off, and, and he lit, and I just told Jay, I said, kill him, and he <laughs> swung on him and popped him, and uh, the rest of them by then, they were out of range. Uh, we had two birds gobbling in this roost tree, there were probably four to five gobbling in another roost tree about 100 yards from where these birds were. Uh, I counted 22 birds on the roost this morning. Lots of hen chatter, lots of gobbling, quick action. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this.
we've been struggling for the last couple of days trying to get on these turkeys. They're not doing the same thing they were doing last year out here. But uh, me, and the, me and Mr. Coit kind of got our noggins together and got a game plan out and figured out where they were going. And uh, this is the result. We got a good three-year-old bird here. He's got probably all oh, shade over one inch spurs and they're nice and sharp. Looks like he's probably got 10, 10 and a half inch beard. This is, this is a good 20 pound gobbler. And congratulations to, to Jay and Thank his you. son Adam. Now, this is a trooper right here, fellas. Uh, you should have seen the way the boy acted yesterday when he had hens and, and gobblers within 10 and 5, 10, 15 yards of him. I mean, he was a trooper. 